Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Bianca. In today's video, I want to share with you guys something different. Something you might be really, really surprised. So if you're new here, uh, you probably cannot really tell that where I come from. Some people say that um, I might be Filipina, or they will say that, well, I'm sure you're half Asian, but you have another half of somewhere, but where? I cannot really tell that. Some people say, well, I'm sure you're Asian, but you must have grew up in America, right? I'm like, no, I am Chinese, and I am 100% Chinese, and I grew up in China. I spent all of my life in China. I never studied abroad. That's why my English speaking is probably fine, but you can notice that my grammar is really horrible. But you understand me just fine, right? So, if you scroll back, you will see a lot of travel videos that I made for the past year. But today, it's not about that. Today is about my own country. It's about my life back then in China. And how was the life in China in general? And how was my work there? And how was the environment? So helpless. Helpless. You don't know what to talk about. First of all, I want to introduce you to my city. Chengdu, China. Every time when people ask me, so which city do you come from in China? I'm like, I come from in Chengdu. Everybody was like, what? What? Where is that? Everybody just, you know, like Beijing, Shanghai, uh, Hong Kong, Guangzhou, you know, something like that. But Chengdu is actually now one of the biggest cities in China. And I could say it's probably the most potential city now in China as well. The government has really put a lot of resources, money to build up this city. Just to give you an idea of how big is this city, well, Shanghai is about 6.3 square kilometers and Beijing is about 16.8 square kilometers and Chengdu is about 14 square kilometers. And we have the population of 16 million. Well, you might be not so surprised. I mean, overall, it's China. It's located in a very, I thought I was like, it kind of like Southern Borough, but actually no, like it's, it's actually in the very, very center of China. I, I'm not sure if you have noticed before, but actually the map of China looks exactly like a chicken. So we're located kind of like somewhere here, <laughs> somewhere here in the chicken, uh, very, very middle. And I also like to tell people that if you don't know where it is, 
It might not gonna help just to give you an idea and that's where the pen has come from. It's not exactly from Chengdu, the city. It's actually from the city um, very close to Chengdu. But the zoo we have in Chengdu, uh, I, I believe in the whole world we have, we have the most pandas in this zoo. And every year there's just so many foreigners come to hug those pandas, to visit them, to feed them. Another thing that is super famous for is the hot pot. If you have never been to China, you probably don't even know, but once you know China, hot pot is one of the most famous dish in the whole China. It's basically just, uh, we have a very big bowl of oil and we put tons of chili in there and then just boil everything that you want. We mostly boil uh, meat, veggies, sometimes even fruits, just whatever you want. The reason why they created this dish is because there were a lot of fishermen but they just took a lot of organs to the boat they were working for so they can just keep it for a long time every day if they want to eat something they just keep boiling them just keep it kind of like fresh but mostly for convenience but because the flavor is just extremely tense so you also get it to a little bit addictive to it that's why once you get to eat it you just want to eat more and more Chengdu, I would say every 500 meter, you will see a hot pot store in the streets. And that's just how crazy it is. Chengdunese really like to eat. That's why we have tons and tons of restaurants. Fancy ones, big ones, small ones, street food, you name it. Even just in the night during like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. There's always a few streets that you can just go out and you see a lot of people just coming out from the bar and they're eating there. Every year we have so many tourists to come to visit Chengdu and most of them are really just coming for the food. And besides that, we also have tons of cafes, uh, especially for, uh, I think, from past of three years. The cafe started really, really grow up because, I mean, drinking coffee was more like a status thing, you know? We mostly drinking tea, but not like our generation now. I feel like it's more like our generation, we start really like drinking coffee as like a daily life, but not like before, a lot of people drinking, I almost say chai. Well, that's also kind of like Chinese pronunciation. We say cha, which is tea. We have a lot of clubs as well. Nightlife in Chengdu probably has already lasted for like 20 years already, at least I believe. If you are familiar with the Lankui Fong in Hong Kong, well, we also have one in Chengdu and it. it's not fake. Well, actually, the owner of the Lankui Fong in Hong Kong, he decided to open a same one in Chengdu as well, but that one didn't really do well. I guess it's because of different culture and also Mm, the vibe was a little bit different, but who cares because we have tons of more and that is so much better than that. And besides the clubs, we have a lot, a lot of like a boutique. Um, I don't know if you can call that boutique, but very nice, cute little bars as well. And I was working for one of them. So the place I was working for called the theater we opened in July 2019. Oh my god, I had a really, really good time working there. So my job basically was to run the whole place to keep everything in order. But I was more like focused on how to maintain the relationship with my clients to make sure they're having a good time there and they will come back as well. And uh, it was not cheap to be honest with you, but I feel like well, I mean like now Chengdu is growing really, really fast. I feel like the reason why, oh, I forgot to tell you that, huh? So our bar was probably one of the most successful bar in the whole Chengdu. Uh, I kind of know the reason why it was doing so well. First of all, it's, it was really, really unique design. Everything was just so different than other bars. We were kind of like, we had some like church elements and some like European features in there as well and it was completely dark, just so dark. We didn't really have, we only had like one lamp, but it was super, super uh, dark. And mostly we use candles, we have real candles on every corner, every table and it was just extremely romantic and we also have a stage that performance live jazz music very nice so the whole atmosphere you can just imagine was super chill romantic and i was like i, I always tell my clients i was like 
even there's a guy sitting in front of you, you feel like you know, he's like mad, but you know, once you start to talk and have a zip of wine, and it just feels like, mm. <laughs> you know, that's like a different. I really like the vibe there. I made tons of friends there as well. And also enjoying the time I was dressing really nice every day. Not like now. Now I probably have like three or four outfits that I just keep wearing for months. Before I have like different outfits every night, I dress up nice. A lot of female clients come to ask me, oh, where did you get this dress? Where did you get these boots? They're just so beautiful. Because of that, I made a lot of friends of that as well. It was really good timing, just completely different lifestyle that I have right now. And I miss that and I'm so looking forward to bring Danny back there to enjoy the food, to take him to my bar and hang out with my friends as well, visit my family. That would be really, really nice. And Chengdu is famous for the chillness. It has been nominated for the happiest city to live in China actually for quite a few times. And there was even a very famous sentence said, once you come to Chengdu, you will never want to leave. Because of the people, because of the food, because of the price. And there's one thing I almost forgot is we have a lot of beautiful girls in Chengdu. We have a, a shopping area, it's called Tai Buli. In that area, every day you will see so many stylish people walking around. I'm not sure if you have ever watched those like clips on Instagram saying like something like China fashion. So just like people dressing up, walking the streets, and some people just like making short videos of that. So basically most of those videos are from that streets. So yeah, Chengdu is also famous for uh, gorgeous girls. Me personally, I would say Chengdu is probably one of the most mind open city in China as well. People are so free to choose their own partners. Uh, you will seriously see so many people dressing them something really different in the streets and they feel really comfortable you don't really feel like being judged i mean there are some people from older generations that might gonna give you a different look but mostly i mean especially young people they don't really care so yeah that is very good all right guys thank you so much for watching today's video i am bianca just a little bit summary of my personal story. In January 2020, I lived in China because of the COVID and I thought I could go home within two weeks. And turns out to be over a year now and I'm still stuck outside of China. So the past year I was recording all of my journey. We have been to a lot of different countries such as Belarus, Serbia, Turkey, Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ukraine. Filmed all of my journey there. If you're interested, you can just subscribe this channel and go back watch those videos. And am I also gonna give you some tips about traveling here as well? With that, hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you're interested about something more about China, such as how was my life in China, how was grow up in China, how was the school there, how was the dating situation, please leave the comment in the below and we'll answer all of them in my upcoming videos have a nice day and i'll see you very very soon bye bye